Here we are at the benchmark 2.0. We have interlock open. This is just saying that we are not doing any call for. Our set point is 189 degrees Fahrenheit. We're at 133. So we know if we bring the interlock in, we will have a call for. And we should start producing some heat. So before we do anything, we want to make sure this baby operates. In this particular case, our control is this little relay here. We're going to bypass all programming and we hear it coming on. So here you can see that we have fire and it's okay to start doing some maintenance on our boiler. Last thing you want be working on something that's already broke down. Flame sensor. all cleaned up now we have gone over all the ceramic making sure we don't have any cracks hairline fractures flaws that are going to impede our operation we're making sure that we're in the right location here or we will end up outside of our flame area say we set it up here and leave this much sticking out Making sure everything here is nice and snug. So back on in. Now down inside here, we're gonna go through the burner plate. So we don't wanna run into resistance and try and force this thing. Or we could shatter our beautiful porcelain. Our spark here is a little more difficult to get to. So this guy has been attacked by rats and judging by the lack of fresh feces, it's been a while, still have some integrity there, I guess. So this just... Pops right out of there. Let's see the idea behind that. Now We drop down about uh, six inches, five inches. So to get to that, we got one of two choices. So either we get a uh, 15 sixteenths long on there and 
Don't push too hard. I don't want to come down and shatter our porcelain or anything. And we back that bad boy out of there. Or we use a special tool just for this purpose. Now you see how that electrode came all the way up with a little extension post. You would have to get that out of there. So we got that guy nice and loose. And here we are. The current state. Don't look too bad. I'm gonna once again, check our porcelain out. Make sure we don't have any cracks, breaks. Anything compromising it. And we're going to clean that up. And then we're going to reassemble. All cleaned up. I won't be using any thread dressing of any kind. Um, I suppose if you needed something on there, you could use dielectric or something. I don't know. But we don't want to impede our uh, circuit to ground there. We want to make sure that everything attached to our post is nice and secure because that is part of our circuit. And as far as how tight we need to be, I am not using any specific Forks, um, but you don't need to be all crazy on there. Just, just nice and snug. You don't gotta proof anything. It's not gonna make you feel awesome when you snap that. Besides the fact that our insulatory material here should be replaced, um, we're acceptable.